An introduction to welding and cutting. If you look around, it's easy to find something in your environment that was made with welding. Perhaps you've got some experience cutting, joining, or otherwise fabricating metals. Or you might be new to welding and intrigued by the endless possibilities and applications these processes have to offer. First, let's start with the basics. Welding and cutting safety. You should know that these processes pose certain hazards that must be addressed to avoid personal injury. And knowing the basic safety hazards will help you protect yourself and others from the hazards of welding. Many welding processes use electricity to generate an arc which heats the metal to the appropriate temperature for welding. You should never touch a live electrode or expose electrical parts. You should always insulate yourself from the working ground wearing dry insulating gloves and keep guards and covers in place and don't forget to disconnect power before servicing equipment. Next, you should know that welding produces bright visible light combined with ultraviolet and infrared radiation that can burn your eyes and skin, leading to permanent injury. Always wear safety glasses with side shields, use a welding helmet or mask with a properly shaded filter, and wear complete body protection made from fire resistant materials. You should also be aware that welding generates sparks, spatter, and fumes. And these welding byproducts can cause fire, burns, and breathing impairment. Make sure to clear the weld zone of any combustible materials, weld in an area that contains sparks, arc rays, and spatter, and always inspect and safeguard against fire. You should also avoid breathing any fumes directly. You should also know that heat from welding and cutting can burn or melt things nearby or in direct contact with the heat source. To protect yourself from burns, consider everything hot in the weld zone and only use designated tools or equipment for handling potentially hot objects to avoid injury and burns. Another common welding hazard is the use of pressurized and potentially flammable gas cylinders. All cylinders should be clearly marked for contents. Safety caps should be in place during storage or transportation and cylinders should be secured with a chain during use. And remember that only approved gas suppliers should ever fill a cylinder. More information on welding and cutting safety can be found in the owner's manuals for the equipment you're using on MSDS or SDS sheets for any consumables or gases you might use. And don't forget to look at the machine labels. If that's not enough, check with ANSI Z49.1, the standard for welding and cutting safety. Now let's talk welding and cutting. The oxy fuel process uses fuel gases like acetylene mixed with oxygen to generate heat. That heat can be used for welding, soldering, brazing, and even for cutting. Next is shielded metal arc welding, or more commonly known as stick welding. This process involves generating an electric arc between a flux coated stick electrode and the workpiece. Stick is popular because of low equipment costs and relative process simplicity. Capable of producing high quality welds, stick welding is often used in the piping industry, especially in the field because of its extreme portability. Gas metal arc welding, or MIG welding, is a gas shielded process that involves using a continuously fed electrode that can produce high quality welds on all types of metals and thicknesses. The continuous electrode allows for making long welds without having to stop and change electrodes. These aspects make MIG welding very popular in the automotive industry, the shipbuilding industry, and anywhere where long, continuous welds need to be made. Another gas shielded process is gas tungsten arc welding, more commonly known as TIG. This precision process generates an arc between a non-consumable tungsten electrode and the work. It's ultra pure because it produces no sparks, spatter, or slag, and is often used in industry where custom fabrication and high quality welds are required. Common applications include high purity process piping, aircraft parts and components, and even precision tool and die work that might be done under a microscope. These are the most common arc welding and cutting processes used in industry today. But that's only the beginning because the AWS classifies more than 90 welding and cutting processes, including resistance welding, laser welding, and even automated welding. So the question is, how will welding shape your world? Weld well and weld safe. Thanks for watching.